again, here it is all clipped together. There's the circuit. Here's the coil, and this is a neodymium magnet, 1.5 millimeters north and south. This is the only moving part for this, so let's put that in there and uh, let's power it up and see what happens. Okay, it's going to be hard to do with a camera and having to hold it as well, so here we go. That's going to be impossible to see because it's just moving too fast, but obviously you can hear it. Uh, the whole sensor has a sweet spot, so if you move it too far away it turns off. If you get too close it breaks down as well. If you look at that sweet spot, you find that the RPMs go way up. About there, and by the way, the power source for this is right there. A 9 volt battery. This, of course, is a SSD circuit, so I can use this to charge the battery as well. Okay, let's, let's change that over to a 12 volt car battery just quickly and see what it can really do. One moment, please. This is the car battery that I got from the wreckers and reconditioned with the old Bedini motor. Okay, we're attached to the car battery 12. Well, let's see what happens. Whoa, that baby's heating. This is the kind of thing boys like to play with. Okay, thank you for watching. That's my Neo Vortex Pulse Motor.